Well, of course, it's our centenary this year. Um, we've had 100 years of creativity and boldness, and uh, we wanted to make sure that we continue this uh, spirit of innovation. And Vivatech is the rendezvous where, the appointment where it's all about technology. And we wanted to be here with our urban mobility solutions, uh, which are very innovative, uh, both urban mobility and mobility outside the cities. But also, we wanted to showcase some new innovations that we've introduced with uh, French startups. I think it's very important as a manufacturer, as a car manufacturer, that you need to develop, you need to evolve, because customers are asking us to evolve. So we need to evolve from a pure model car manufacturer to something where we're providing a mobility provider. And that's why it's so important to move away and change your mindset so that you know the cars, the, the concepts we're showing today, not only are objects that you sit in and you move in, but they've also got an ecosystem of how our customers can actually live with them. And that's so important, so we need to evolve. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it's described as a, what I call a lounge. Uh, you get in there and you just feel everybody's got a different type of seat. And it really was devised for, uh, based on some data. Uh, we say by that 2050, and almost 70% of us will be living in cities, but at the same time, around about 70% of us at the weekend want to get out of the cities. So we've got AMI1 concept, which is urban mobility when you're in the city, and 1919 is all about how you get out and you can get out of the city and you can enjoy yourself in a 100% electric car. You've got a personal assistant that drives the car for you. You just sit in that car and you relax as though you were in your lounge. You know, I think the AMI one was a great success uh, at Geneva and then Shanghai, and it showed what we can do in terms of urban mobility. Uh, and we wanted to take it a little bit further, which is what we're doing with 1919, which is the mobility outside the city. And really it shows that Citroen is thinking about what our customers are going to be wanting to do uh, in the years to come. Now, maybe these concepts aren't going to happen tomorrow, but they're going to happen in the future. Uh, because the world is changing, we need electric cars, we need to make sure that we uh, protect the environment, but we also need to protect our freedom and our liberty. So Citroen is thinking about how do we provide that to our customers. Yeah, I mean, there's so many things that are happening in the next 10, 20 years that are really going to hit our customers. And it's not just autonomy, it's also electrification, so electric cars. Everybody's a little bit uncertain about whether they want to go into them. Autonomous cars, you know, actually, we've already got some levels of autonomy in our cars. Um, so basically, autonomous goes levels one, two, three, until you get to four, where you literally just sit there and you're driven. Clearly, the most important thing that you will notice with both of these cars and everything that you see about Citroen, even the stand that you're sitting on is about comfort, because we believe that mobility is also about being comfortable. Uh, so, of course, 1919 is the ultra comfort. Uh, it's like a lounge. Uh, but I think we need to remember that if we're going to spend time in our cars, we need to be comfortable. But we need to be comfortable with the, the access and also the autonomy, but also the fact that they will be electric and they will be protecting our environment.